In today's video, we're going to discuss why all of the critics for Yield Max are wrong. Yield Max helps me earn over 400,000 per year in dividends. As you can see below, we were at 500,000, but I sold some things to lower my margin, manage my risk at the highs. I'll be buying more funds soon to get our dividends back up over 500,000 again. Also, our performance of value shows that we're beating all the indexes with margin and yield max. We're up 34% for the year, almost 35% for the year. The S&P is up 22, the Nasdaq's up 22, the Dow's up 13, and the Russell's up 10. So we're beating all the indexes on a year-to-date basis, and we're also beating all the indexes on a daily basis. We're up 7,000 on Friday, or 0.56%. As you can see above, the Nasdaq was only up 0.33%. The SP was at 0.61, the Dow was at 0.97, but when you factor back in my margin, we were beating the market hand over fist. That's why we're outperforming the market year to date. That's why we're up over 34%. So we're living financially free out of our brokerage accounts using Yield Max, Cornerstone, Defiance, and some margin. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. So I got my first real critic. He or she said that I'm going to lose it all in Yield Max and margin. To all of you Yield Max critics out there, here are the facts about Yield Max you apparently don't know and how I use them to live financially free out of my brokerage account. Okay, number one, I keep Yield Max positions small and I keep my index positions at much larger amounts. You have to stay indexed and Yield Max falls by the amount of stocks. So why would you want to be in stocks, totally invested in stocks, especially when using margin in Yield Max? Okay, why would you want to be in Yield Max, which is stock based? I'm mostly index based, and all of my followers know that I use Cornerstone, Defiance, and Roundhill as my index plays. Cornerstone being my largest holding, as you can see here. Cornerstone is a five-star fund now, not four-star anymore, five-star fund, and it moves upper left to right on its chart. So all of the critics of YieldMax think that YieldMax is going down on its chart, but you have to factor back in total dividends and drips to get your true performance with YieldMax, just like with Cornerstone, okay? You have to factor back in dividends and drips with Cornerstone. Cornerstone is my largest holding because it is low maintenance, okay? Low maintenance, 30% maintenance. And it moves upper left to right on its chart, as you can see here. Okay, it moves upper left to right, whereas yield max stocks, many that you know, move sideways to down. So you have to put your money in the indexes. I don't know why my critics don't understand this about me. I put most of my money in Cornerstone, yield max. Defiance and Roundhill, but Yield Max I keep smaller because they are stock based and you don't want to have stock based risk in your portfolio, okay? You don't want to have too much of that. Once again, I don't use Yield Max in a large way, okay? I know that I was in this Bloomberg article and that was kind of cool and they were kind of slamming Yield Max a little bit, which rightly so. Many Yield Max stocks fall by the amount of their dividends, so it's really hard to live out of Yield Max funds, but Yield Max still helps you outperform, okay? So I'm not sure why there's so many critics with yield max i mean take coney for example the number one example that the guy used in his recent hit piece on me was coney he said that coney was down year to date whereas coin was up well coney is up 99 percent. so i'm not really sure what this guy and his research firm is using i'm seeing here on the twitter website x that coney has 99 percent return so that's why yield max helps you get ahead they actually give you dividends they actually move up in stock price in some cases, okay? Coney has moved up in share price value, but after the dividends come, of course they fall. And then if coin has weakness, of course you're gonna see weakness in Coney. Same for Tesla. So those kind of get bad raps, but a lot of times when they're doing well, I don't hear the same complaints, okay? You don't wanna stay out of Coney just because the chart looks bad. Look at coin, all right? It's been down as well from the highs. So you're gonna see a similar pattern with Coney, but don't look at the charts for your total returns. Math is the truth. Look at Coney here, 99% return. All all right, so I've been really benefiting from Coney, okay? The only problem with Coney is that it's not a large part of the indexes and Coney is 100% maintenance, okay? I just showed you Cornerstone, but Coney is 100% maintenance. That's why I don't push Coney much because it's not a large part of the indexes and it has heavy maintenance. And if it falls, it can hurt you by the amount of the stock falling. Stocks can fall unlimited, but indexes usually fall only 20 to 30% in a given bear market. So that's why I'm so heavily invested into Cornerstone, Defiance, and Roundhill funds, and not stocks like YieldMax, but YieldMax still helps you outperform, as I just showed you on this graphic here for Coney. So 
You just have to watch your maintenance when you're trying to live financially free out of your brokerage accounts. That's why I'm always telling you about maintenance, okay? Cornerstone's 30% maintenance. Coney is 100% maintenance. If you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. So with Yield Max, don't forget, you have to factor back in dividends and drips to get your total returns of being up over 99%, as you can see here, okay? You have to factor back in dividends and drips. And with Cornerstone, you have to factor back in dividends, drips, and rights offerings okay many closed end funds have rights offerings cornerstone is no different cornerstone is also one of the largest funds in the world okay one of the largest closed end funds in the world it's been around since the 80s it's established i don't get paid by cornerstone i don't get paid by any of these other funds that i promote i'm just sharing what works so as you can see by the one year chart with cornerstone we've made it to new highs for the year but on a 10 year chart we're going sideways to down that's because you have to factor back in again dividends drips and rights offerings if you need help playing cornerstone that's in my volume 4 e guide you want to welcome rights offerings because they tell you when to buy they tell you when to sell so again cornerstone has a 21 percent dividend and then you're dripping it down at the nav for a 21 percent gain as well okay so it's just a coincidence that both numbers are 21 percent right now okay 21 percent yield 21 percent gain when you drip this 21 percent dividend down at the bottom down at the nav for an extra gain every month so how come my critics don't know that i use cornerstone when it's the largest closed end fund in the world one of the largest and it's been around since the 80s and it's a five-star fund just really confuses me okay i don't understand why more people aren't in cornerstone why they look at charts as their first impression for stocks instead of looking at total returns here on morningstar look at defiance for example defiance i show that all the time iwmy yes clip is outperforming for us but iwmy is also very special it's a defiance fund look at the morningstar chart here it's blowing away the index but if you go to IWMY here on the charts, you'll see it goes sideways to down. Once again, you have to factor back in dividends and drips with defiance, and you have to have a repentance. Repentance means in the dictionary to have a change of mind. So this critic, along with all the other uninformed investors out there with Yield Max, Cornerstone, and Defiance, need to change their ways on how they view charts and nav erosion. Please factor back in dividends into your total returns as a start. So I'm outperforming with Defiance, I'm outperforming with Cornerstone, and I'm outperforming with Yield Max, but I don't withdraw out of Yield Max dividends because we have a lot of decay with Yield Max. I withdraw from my Cornerstone dividends from the growth of Cornerstone. I'm able to withdraw out of my account because for every one dollar you put in your account you get four dollars of purchasing power i'm just using a small amount of that over one million in purchasing power and then my growth of being up over 34 percent for the year allows me to withdraw out of my account freely if i were to only own yield max i wouldn't be able to withdraw out of my account because yield max has either 50 or 100 percent maintenance in many cases so my available withdrawal would be nearly at zero if i owned all yield max stocks that's why, again, you have to keep yield max small, not only to outperform the indexes, not only to stay with the indexes with Cornerstone, Defiance, and Roundhill, but you have to keep yield max small to minimize downside risk and keep your available withdrawal high. This is how you live financially free out of your brokerage account. You have to keep your available withdrawal high so that you can withdraw and pay your bills even on top of a 20% correction. That's also another thing my critic doesn't take into account is that I don't have much margin call risk because I can withstand over 20% corrections at all times. And then whatever correction we have beyond that, I have my put options on to insure my account in the event of a market crash. If you need help insuring your portfolio like I do, that's in my volume five e-guide. Also, my dividends pay back my debt in less than one year. So my leverage goes away each month by about 40 or 50 grand. So I'm never in risk of a margin call because my dividends pay back my leverage and my put options would help me make more money than I potentially lost in the event of a 30% crash. We were up almost 2,000% in our options recently during the August crash, and I keep yield max small, so I don't really ever have risk of yield max taking me down performance-wise or risking me with a margin call. Cornerstone also held up better than most funds during the recent crash. Defiance and Cornerstone hold up very well in down markets, and that's why I hold so much in Defiance and Cornerstone. But again, play Cornerstone properly around its rights offerings. When you buy my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for Life, where we alert you of the Cornerstone rights offering announcement. We have many channels here for your enjoyment. We have a Yield Max channel, Round Hill, Defiance, 
We have a Canadian channel here. We have all kinds of channels here, but the most important feature of our Discord chat room is that rights offering because we want to potentially level up our account with this rights offering, okay? We have over a thousand members here in the Discord chat room pursuing the fire lifestyle, so we're all watching this very closely together. We have the N2 filing as our alert system, so we're not just getting the rights offering announcement. We're getting the N2 filing thanks to my admin, Gaines, who installed this feature. We're getting the N2 filing announcement with Cornerstone before the rights offering announcement. That gives us plenty of time to adjust our positions and maneuver before the rights offering announcement. And again, this is how we're really going to level up our account. It's with the Cornerstone rights offering. You especially don't want a lot of yield max and down markets, okay? Because they're going to cut their dividends, they're going to have high maintenance, and then when you withdraw out, you're going to erode from your account. You're really going to cannibalize your account. So you want to stick with Defiance and Cornerstone in down markets because Cornerstone drips down at the nab. So a dollar cost averages for you at the bottom and then defiance falls less than the market on down days and that helps us outperform on down days. You saw in the last video that I made that the market was down and we still outperformed that day thanks to cornerstone and defiance. If we had too much in yield max, of course we'd be getting hurt. Okay, that's why we keep yield max small once again. But our return is 34% so far year to date. And even during the August crash, we were still outperforming all of the indexes. So I'm getting a lot of critics lately with yield max because of this latest Bloomberg article. And I get a lot of critics for using margin in general. But first of all, margin is a total choice of mine to have. It's a free country and I can click sell at any time with my margin positions and the margin is gone. So I like to have some excitement. I like to keep growing, okay? It's grow or die, especially with inflation these days. So why would I sell the margin that I have? It doesn't show up on a credit check and all the grades that I know of use debt to get ahead. Also, there's an instant arbitrage opportunity with the yields that we're earning with yield max versus the interest that we're charged with margin, okay? My margin interest is around 6%. I've negotiated it down twice. Many of my clients who bought my e-guides did the same thing because when you buy my e-guides, you get free Discord access for life and you get my phone number for life, so keep that in mind. I also own blue chip stocks that have been doing really well for me lately and they fall less on down days, especially staple stocks that move inverse to tech names many days. I even sell options on yield max because that lowers my risk and my volatility as well. The options that we sell here give us about 50,000 per year in premiums that knock down my margin by 50,000. They lower my risk and they lower my volatility because with options, just like with dividend paying stocks, you have to factor back in the premiums to get your total gains and your total cost basis. These total gains and losses columns mean nothing to me. Yes, if I have a profit, I'll take the profit sometimes. Let's say in a bid X right here, I could take this $400 profit, but I'd rather take the 3,300 in premiums that we received here and just lower my margin and get my gains that way. So I'm just selling time and I'm selling volatility with these options and they're a much lower risk without the volatility. Look at how Warren Buffett sells options on his Coca-Cola stock. He's a very conservative investor, so when he sells puts, that means that it's a pretty low risk way to gain extra income out of your position. If you need help selling options like I do to lower your risk and lower your margin with yield max, that's in my volume six e-guide. All right, so if you need more help doing what I'm doing, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. When you buy my e-guides, you get free access to Discord for life and you get my phone number for life, so keep this in mind. Also, if you like my video, please click like or subscribe and I'll talk to you soon, everyone. Thanks.